ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு யூ லிட்ரேச்சர் விஸ் ஆர்ட் ஸோ இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் ஆல் தோஸ் வெப்சைட்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு லிட்ரேச்சர் தட் யூஸ்வலி லிட்ரேச்சர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ரிலை ஆன் வைல் சர்ஜிங் ஃபோர் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு எனி பர்டிகுலர் லிட்ரரி ஒர்க் so my intention is not just to introduce these websites because you already know most of them since you keep searching it on internet and all these results are very common uh, websites that pop out when you whenever you search on google but today my intention is uh, to uh, introduce the each and every one of these websites in such a way that it is going to help you um, you know uh by making it so familiar to you that uh, you don't really miss any of the feature available in each of these websites so today we will start with um the website uh, uh, all those very familiar websites so first let let us go to uh, google chrome so i've opened google chrome and now let me search for a very um common text canonical text uh, hamlet by william shakespeare and i'm going to look for the summary of hamlet so hamlet summary uh, i need i'm looking uh, for the website shmoop first so shmoop okay let me search for it so the results have popped out and yeah i'm going to click on the first result itself now i'm directed to the page of hamlet hamlet summary see by william shakespeare so one thing i've uh, noticed these days is that the a uh, year or two ago uh, when i used to frequently search for with these materials on shmoop i could find that um, the design of of this website was really different it looked a bit orange shade it used i as i remember so uh, then uh, as uh, according to my memory there was a menu tab on the top and when you clicked on the menu tab all the um, other uh tabs popped out like uh characters themes analysis quiz etc and when you clicked on those uh tabs or uh tabs or links you were directed to those pages related to this main summary page so since there is a difference maybe most of you uh, might be confused about uh how to navigate uh in this page because the whole structure of the page seems to be different now so not this nothing to be confused about the thing you have to do is you you got a navigation button here right on the top of hamlet summary written uh, is written navigation you could see that and there is a drop drop down button arrow a small drop down arrow uh which is uh, pointed downwards towards the right side of navigation which you have to tap on and now you could see yeah just like how it used to be before now you could see the introduction the summary detail summary act 1 scene 1 act 1 scene 2 etc etc and then you have the themes characters analysis codes translations all those again all those tabs and links to those pages so that's all what you have to do just click on these tabs and you will be directed to those pages let's try one themes yes now you have the themes of the hamlet you even got an infographic with it so yes okay navigation again madness you have to click on this drop down button there only it will open uh, as it seemed okay just this is what you have to do now let me navigate 
back to the summary page. Okay, so it's that easy. Now, um, can, could you see this infographic in here? Uh, it's, uh, it's it looks like the plot infographic of Hamlet. Uh, and here it's written click the plot infographic to download so let me click on it see now I could find view downloadable image hmm. it seems like there are a lot of uh, not just one infographic on this page or the all other related infographics like symbolism and some other infographics uh, related to characters etc etc so if you want to download each of them just what you have to do is click on tap on uh, view downloadable image see now you could view this image now if you um, uh, tap not just tap but long press on this uh, particular image the, these you could find these options like uh, download image you have to click on it see now it's downloading into now yeah it's done and if i open i could find the downloaded image uh, which is stored in my device now yes so it's that easy the thing is that easy okay so there is one more thing that you missed to explore you might have missed to look for while uh, looking for materials related to the content that you are searching for so that is uh, while looking for materials on internet like uh, on pages like or websites like this don't forget to explore YouTube the YouTube page or channel of these uh, websites as well but yeah you could find yeah here you could find an interesting video which uh, seems to be funny and also very interesting because it's presented in uh, very illustrated and funny manner so now if you want to get further videos related to literature uh, of this page you could just try them on YouTube so let me go to YouTube okay 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 what you have to do is you can search for shmoop shmoop see I've already subscribed to this channel so let me go to the playlist oh it seems like they have a lot of other subject related um, videos as well so I will have to search particularly for literature videos so here I could see Shakespeare's the Tempest analysis it seems like they have 12 videos related to that interesting Next, I could find not math, not geometry. No, no, no. Yeah, yes, yes. Frankenstein book analysis. It will be helpful for us. Yes, of course. Next, dystopian literature analysis. 19 videos related to that. See? Next, uh, Greek mythology is also our topic next wow just look at it 280 videos related to literature alone that's that's something for us right and i could find 1984 beautiful young name going to bed absolutely true diary of far time indian the absolutely true that okay same christmas carol clock work orange Adaptable bestsellers by Smoop, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Aenid, A Farewell to Arms, A Hunger Artist, etc. So all these seems, most of them seems to be uh, canonical texts like Animal Farm, Arabian Nights, Raisin in the Sun. All these are canonical texts. Yeah, I said as I lay dying, all these. So. Uh, it means if you simply watch all these videos, it's going to help you. Uh, simply help you while preparing for NET JRF exams. You will 
you are getting all those um, basic plots and analysis etc just by watching this playlist you will get all uh, a lot of information which is which are going to help you for what very cool it was your exam so just try out this uh, uh, you know uh, youtube channel and uh, playlist related to your um, topics uh, or the topics that you are looking for or generally all those um, videos related to literature just by watching it you will learn a lot uh, without even realizing that you are learning it actually and i think you won't get bored by watching these videos because they are very interesting and funny as well so it will be easier for you to remember too so do try these out and and in the next video i will be doing uh, uh you know i will be coming with all those uh, information related to the other websites uh like smoop which will help you with very fluent or jr of exam in english so um, until then uh, goodbye and take care